Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install these two little beams. These are called safety beams and if you're wondering uh, about the principle of operation you're welcome to watch my video on the principle of how uh, safety beams operate. But in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install these two little beams and the application of where I'm doing it is on this garage door. And the reason is is that most garage door openers the motors the controllers do not have inbuilt safety and uh, some say they do and they do not function accordingly so i would like to make sure that it's safe there's little children running around and i do not want the garage door to close while there is a human or even an animal in the way of the door so i'm going to now demonstrate how to install these two little safety beams and it happens to be installed onto the the Centurion X-Track and the reason why I'm doing this is because the safety system of the X-Track is questionable and uh, I have received correspondence from Centurion just uh, highlighting that they themselves have found that the safety on the X-Track is questionable and that is why I now have reverted to doing the beams. Alright, so how do we go about this? Right, first things first. Now the safety beams need to be installed across the opening the gate garage door opening so one has to be on the one side and one on the other side so you at this point must decide which one is going to be a transmitter and which is going to be a receiver and the reason why that's important is the one the transmitter just needs positive and negative while the receiver needs positive and negative and also the relay uh, is pinned out to these connectors here right so just showing you the uh, sender the transmitter just gets positive and negative so you literally just have to connect power there you do get a wire wireless one where it relies on a battery and i prefer the hardwired so that i don't have the nuisance of having to change batteries every 12 months or some of these uh, even sooner depending on the amount of operations right now the uh, receiver is important because you can see you've got extra connections here and this is what has to be wired into the controller board of the extract or maybe it's your or you've got a different model uh, gate opener maybe it's for an electric gate so here we go this side is going to require more cores so if you're running the, the this you'll need at least four cores positive negative positive negative uh, sorry positive negative and then the comms and signal which will then be for the relay now I have already run the cables to speed things up there it is if you're wondering what height uh, the manufacturer Centurion recommend that the um, the uh, safety beam is 750 mils off the ground. The only problem is, is that uh, obviously a small dog or a small cat will not be protected. So you could put it a bit lower if you want, but don't put it too low because then obviously when the wind blows and leaves and so forth might blow in the way, well then uh, it will activate. So you can decide anything uh, around 750 mils is acceptable. And there goes the wire. So this happens to be just four core, which is fine. And there goes the wire. Right, so you run the wire there to the one beam. There it goes up. I've hidden it at the top here. And then it has to join here because the one is going this way. And here it is. And this one is going to be wired and come through here for the other beam. Then I've run it up here and it comes up here. And there it comes ready to plug straight into the controller board. And I will show you each one of these uh, connections shortly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill in the uh, sensors and then I'll be ready to wire it up. Right, now you could just pierce this with some side cutters or just cut that off away and then the wire would go kind of like that and then it would go through here and then you would find its way through here. But because I'm going to be uh, using this here where there are bricks, I just put it in directly through there as you can see and how it will be wired up once it's connected. And you won't see that wire so there it is and you won't see the wire once it's inside there but now what I need to do is just install this onto the uh, brick here so I just need to release this board which is quite simple you just pull it out like that and I'm just going to now drill it into the wall
Right, so now I'm just wiring the positive and negative. There we go. I'm just going to use red for positive and black for negative. And then common, I'm going to use as green. And you'll find that the black and the green, in this case the minus and the common, are probably connected to each other, but I'm just checking that. Um, no, not. Hmm, interesting. So in this case, the common and the negative are not connected to each other. So this happens to be just common of the relay. So the common here is isolated from the negative. So we can't always assume that the common and the negative are connected. I did a continuity test and the, the multimeter showed me that it was isolated. So this common is with reference to these relay contacts. So I've got a normally open and a normally closed. Now you need only to wire one of these contacts. It depends on your setup. If your setup wants a normally open, well then you will use the normally open. If your setup wants normally closed, well then you'll use normally closed. What does that mean? This is what it means. When the transmitter is transmitting here and, the, and there's nothing in the way, then the relay, if it says NC, will be normally closed, which means common to normally closed will be a short circuit. So if this was powered on and I touch there, you should be hearing that. And then the reverse happens if it was normally open. If, the, if you wanted that when the signal is not being interrupted, means that there's nothing in the way and you want it normally open, well, what would happen is if you press common and you touch here, then you would hear nothing. And then when the intruder or something gets in the way of the transmitter and signal, uh, transmitter and receiver, then you would hear the, the continuity or the short circuit would take, a, would take place. Right, I will demonstrate that. If it's still confusing for you, I will demonstrate that. All right, now I've connected all of the wires, but you will only need to choose. You'll choose normally open or normally closed, depending on what your controller board or your alarm system wants. Uh, last thing about normally open and normally closed, it's, it refers to the relay. So what happens is, in the relay you've got these three connectors, one, two, and three. And then what happens is there's like a leaf spring that's touching with the one connector, that's why it's normally closed. So there you can see the, 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 the wires here, and there's the spring and then the uh, other wires here. So it's normally closed, so the continuity would be uh, um, would be zero ohm so it would be a short circuit if it was normally open well it's it's normally open unless the relay activates if the relay activates then it closes so it's normally open during rest now when you're putting the wire back in make sure you do not put anything in the way of this photodiode that's going to be receiving the signal otherwise that would defeat the point all right so that's now done there's a little clip there you press it in and the board comes out. Now I've measured the height here, which is exactly 57. Okay, so on this side, it's just for power. So it's positive and negative, and that is it. There we go. Now this one I'm going to close. Make sure that none of the dust while you're drilling got on the lens there. And I'm just closing it like that. It's a clip down and in. And in the little bag that they give you, you'll get the little screws to close up the lid. And then the little dust seal over here just to hide the screw. There we go. So that is the finished job. And you check that it's straight. You should use the spirit level. Now it's time to wire it up to the main board. 
Now, if you recall, the one wire is going to the transmitter and the other wire is going to the receiver. So the transmitter just needs the positive and negative to power it up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to break this wire now. I'm going to cut it and just locate the positive and negative so that I can connect it to the transmitter side. Okay, so the positive is going to the positive here, and this happens to be 24 volts. So in your safety beam installation, just make sure that the safety beams can handle the voltage that you're feeding it. This happens to be 24 volts. So you'll find that many security products have a, very, a varying voltage range from about 12 volts all the way up to uh, 24 volts. Now I'm going to join these commons, the common and the uh, common of the relay together. It is a DC circuit, so it is fine. And the other common that happens to be, the other wire that happens to be there is for a remote control. Hardwired remote control. And then the last one is just the wire telling it that there's a safety beam. And on the X track, it goes to SP4. And there is an SP2 here, which is for a different um, safety beam. Now, on the X track, there is a, a dip switch here called safety beam, which you must also adjust. So that's also very important in that the uh, a controller board knows there's that uh, feature and that's why on your controller board you will see maybe there's a dip switch or a additional uh, jumper that you'll have to do if you use a safety beam right now I'm testing it and you can see it's opening and now let's close it and we can see that I'm trying to operate it and it won't work if I stand here and break the beam, now you can see it's closing, which is telling me that I've wired it incorrectly. Remember what I said that some 
systems wanted normally open and some wanted normally closed. Now, in the case of the Centurion X track, it wants it normally closed, and I've obviously wired it to the normally open condition. Now, I'm going to check it, and I can see that I've wired the white wire, which happened to be the normally open. So, there, an error crept in, and also just showing you how the system operates if it was on the normally open. Right, now I'm going to test it. Yes, it's opening. Now it's closing, that's correct. And I'm going to obstruct the beam. There we can see how it then re returns, st it stops and reverses. Now I get it out of the way. And then you would manually have to reclose it. And that obviously depends on the different gate uh, controllers you've got. The Centurion one, what it does is that the minute you break the beam, it then reverses. Right, now just to explain what is going on there, I've got this multimeter. And there you can see the, or you can hear the continuity. And I'm going to put it on the common and normally closed. And you can see that, you can hear the, you can hear the meter screaming or, or making a noise, beeping, and then watch what happens. You see, when, when I get in the way of the beam, you see, when I get in the way of the beam, you can see how that relay operates, and the normally closed becomes open. Right, and now let me uh, go to the normally open. You can see it's normally open. There's nothing in the way of this uh, beam, safety beam, but when I get in the way, look what happens. So that just depends on what you need. You need it normally open or normally closed. And then obviously, just to show you the power supply there, and there is the 23, well, there's supposed to be 24 volts, but that's good enough, 23.3 volts uh, powered onto the unit. And now it's uh, clearly working, and I'm just going to put the cover back on. Right, and there's the finished product. There is the receiver, the transmitter, and obviously when I get in the way now, it will do nothing because it is locked while it is closed. And then I can open it. And while it's on the opening uh, cycle, getting in the way of the beam will do nothing because the uh, beam is there to sort of stop the door from closing on something rather than opening on something. So there we see nothing is happening however when I close it uh, getting in the way here there we go okay I hope that is informative and thanks for watching cheers